A very common metric that analysts calculate to determine the sustainability of a company is the free cash flow. Let's learn how to calculate free cash flow. CFO is the difference between the cash inflows from operations and the cash outflows from operations. The capital expenditures, or fixed capital investments, is the difference between cash outflows from investments and the cash inflows from investments. It was mentioned earlier that it is desirable that CFO is sufficient to cover the fixed capital investments. The excess of the net CFO over capital expenditures is known generically as free cash flow. In general, firms with consistently positive free cash flow are more sustainable companies. For the purposes of valuing a company or its equity securities, an analyst may want to determine and use other cash flow measures such as free cash flow to the firm or free cash flow to equity. FCFF is the free cash flow available to the company's suppliers of debt and equity capital. Pictorially, it should be the area here, which is the difference between CFO and the fixed capital investment. However, under US GAAP, or under some instances of IFRS, interest that is paid out to debt holders is included under CFO outflows. This amount should be included under FCFF computation as the interest paid is available to the creditors. As the interest paid is before tax, it should be multiplied by 1 minus the tax rate to reflect the actual cash that is available to the debt holders. So there we have it. The free cash flow to the firm is the CFO minus the fixed capital investments plus the after-tax interest. Another common way of expressing this is in terms of the net income. We know that CFO is the net income adding back non-cash charges like depreciation and amortization, less working capital expenditures. The alternative way of expressing FCFF is as such. The free cash flow to equity, on the other hand, is the free cash flow available to the company's common stockholders. As the interest is only paid to the debt holders, it should not be included in the FCFE computation. What should be included is the net borrowings. The net borrowing is the total debt issued minus the total debt redeemed during the period. As this is a cash inflow from the debt holders and is available to the shareholders, it should be included in the computation of FCFE. As such, the free cash flow to equity is the CFO minus the fixed capital investments plus the net borrowing for the period. A positive FCFE means that the company has an excess of CFO over amounts needed for capital expenditures and repayment of debt. This cash would be available for distribution to the shareholders. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.